Hi guys, Ben Swathwood, District Sales Manager for Keystone RV Company, Raptor Carbon Division. Today I'm standing outside of one of our brand new 2021 models. It's the Raptor 413. This one happens to be in our full body paint charcoal color. So what I want to do today is I want to give you an exclusive and extensive walkthrough on the Raptor product. So I like to always start at the front of the unit. So as you can see, this is our front cap with the Raptor logo going to be in the 3D graphic that's going to be there. It's a gel logo. It's going to stand over time a lot longer. One of the keystone features that we like to hang our hat on is our front caps. So this is a fully painted front cap. And even if it wasn't a full body painted model, all of our front caps are full body painted. That's going to extend the life of the camper as you're driving this thing up and down the road. The benefit to that is because we've got seven layers of protection between primer, paint, and clear coat, it allows you to clean this thing a lot easier. It's a lot more durable than, you, than just your traditional front cap. The other thing that we like to do is all of our front caps are gonna be painted in-house. That allows us to control the quality while keeping the cost down for our retail customer. As you can see, with it being a full fiberglass front cap, there's a lot more strength and rigidity in this front cap than what you'll find on the market. Another thing that we like to do that is important to us as a toy hauler brand is we've got our LED cap lights here. These are specifically engineered to shine down on the bed of your truck. Now, we will also incorporate the front LED lights here that you'll see on all other toy haulers on the street, which still give it that dynamic look and feel to a toy hauler. However, with this, it's gonna shine down on the bed of the truck, making it easier for those customers to hook up to the pin box if it's dark outside. Now, one thing that you'll notice when you're looking at all other toy haulers is the way that they do their front caps and their molds, their LED lights will actually shine out versus down and that'll eliminate the ease of being able to hook up at night because as you back up to this and it's dark if the light is shining out into the cab essentially you're just going to turn that light off because it's just going to be frustrating now another thing that we do is exclusive to keystone it is our hitch vision this does have a patent number on it so we're the only manufacturer in the industry that is going to offer something like this this allows our customers to be able to get into their truck look through the cab of the truck or line up their rear view mirror with this mirror and hit the center of the pin box. This is gonna make a first time camper or a long time camper so much happier when they're able to do this because now it's eliminating the time that it takes for hookup and tear down. Not only that, when you've got a system like this, this allows you to have visualization and illumination and that's gonna be something that they're not gonna find in any other product or any other toy hauler on the market. Now, another thing that we offer is the Rotaflex pin box. This pin box allows our customers to be able to hook up to their coach and they're gonna be able to control the chucking that they would find, that they would get from driving this thing up and down the road. So ultimately, this thing will allow this front cap or this uh, pin box to pivot. And so if you can imagine your truck, when you hit the gas, the nose wants to lift. When you hit the brakes, the nose wants to go down. So by being able to alleviate you're removing any of that negative energy as this thing is going up and down the road. Additionally, you've got a one inch piece of rubber within your pin box that is gonna allow you to be able to absorb all the vibrations as this is going up and down the road. So the rigors of the road and then taking all of the brunt here and making it easier to clean are gonna be some things that are gonna extend that life of the camper. Another way to put it is if you think about a rock when you throw it into the water, you get a ripple effect. That negative energy is now traveling through your coach when you don't have a pin box like this. So if you just have a traditional standard pin box and you've got a heavy truck and a heavy trailer, now you're gonna have a whole bunch of chucking and you're not gonna have anywhere for that energy to go. So it's going to give you vibrations and shaking that is going to make cabinet doors not wanna close flush, your regular doors not wanna close flush, as well as being able to shake the windows and remove the seals that are put on this coach. So by having something like this, it is now going to give a buffer to the entire system, which again allows the life of this coach to be extended. So let's uh, head over here and let's look at some other features.
So when we get on this side of the coach, obviously you can see the rest of this full body paint, which is a brand new paint scheme for us. This is gonna be aggressive while still being clean and sleek with the charcoal gray, white, and black. But we're also gonna have six point hydraulic leveling, which will be standard on all Raptors. And within this compartment here, this is where you're gonna have your hydraulic fluid and all of your hookups for this point here. Uh, the nice thing about the six point level up is that all of them will work together and they'll all talk to each other to be able to get 100% ease and level when you're leveling this coach out. Okay, now in the pass-through, all of our pass-throughs are gonna have slam baggage latch doors. They're gonna be one inch thick and fully insulated. And then within your pass-through storage, you're going to have access to electrical and cable and satellite if you wanna hook up a TV. You're also gonna have plenty of space if you want to take any of the necessities that you want to have with you camping, whether it be outdoor equipment, grill equipment, chairs, tables, things like that. You can be able to store all of those in there. Additionally, inside here is gonna be the brain to our in-command system. The in-command system allows our customers to be able to control the functions of the coach via Bluetooth on their smartphone or the tablet on the inside of the coach. But more importantly, what's on the inside is something that I wanna highlight. So Keystone RV Company uses a system called color-coded and numerical coded wiring. So every wire that is in one of our coaches is going to be color-coded and numerically coded, which is going to give you a system that is clean and organized, and it's going to make troubleshooting so much faster and easier for the service department so that that customer can get in and out faster and do what they actually bought the camper to do, which is go camping. So as you can see in here, every one of these wires is gonna have a number on it, which is gonna lead back to the same thing. So every coach is gonna be wired exactly the same. Another feature is these relays here are all automotive relays and they're all interchangeable. So for instance, let's say that your coach is not working in an area of the awning or the slide. And so you've checked your breakers to make sure that you have power, you've checked your fuses and none of those are blown. So what you can do at that point is now you can go into this system here, which is gonna give you the layout of all of those relays. So you could pull the relay for one of your slides that's not working, pop out a new relay of the slide that you've now put into the coach, put it in there and then run that slide in and now you can head on back home. So it makes the customer's job of feeling like they're working and owning the coach a little bit more user friendly than having to all of a sudden have your slide stuck out and then having to call someone to come in and get it fixed uh, before they can actually go home. So really nice feature, uh, it makes it a lot easier on the customer. So as we go to the door system here, so the door system is going to offer a couple different features that are gonna be beneficial to the customer. But the main one is what this door system doesn't have that is gonna be more important than what it actually offers. So it is a friction hinge door, which allows you to open up the door 180 degrees. Uh, it is gonna be wind resistant. Uh, but again, the benefit is the fact that it doesn't have two things that a majority of our competition do have. One of those things is going to be that plastic latch that holds the door down on this side. It's one of those latches that seems to break all the time. And sometimes it breaks while it's on the lot before you actually ever are able to sell it to a customer. The second one that it doesn't have is the gas strut that only allows you to open up the door to here. The problem with having the gas strut with this system is multiple reasons. So one, gas struts give out over time. The other one is when someone is walking into the coach, their default is to grab whatever is closest to them. So now they're gonna grab the door before they grab the grab handle. And then over time, they're gonna be leaning on the door and then that's what's gonna make that gas strut give out faster and or break, which then leads to another warranty issue. And then on top of that, if that latch breaks or if the gas strut breaks, now you have another problem of your door just free swinging. And that's where you can have injuries or you can have more damage done to the rest of the coach, like a window breaking or scratching or scuffing the sidewall of the actual coach. So by doing the friction hinge and allowing it to open up all the way and it doesn't, it doesn't swing freely, now you don't have to worry about some of those things. Uh, another Keystone exclusive feature is the main entry of our door here. So this is a 78 inch main entry door. It is the largest main entry door in the industry. 
So the benefit here is now you're six inches taller on a Raptor than you will be on any product in the industry. So those taller customers will be the ones that will actually thank you. Because after walking through unit after unit on the lot looking for that unit that they want, they're used to having to duck their heads when they walk through. So by getting that 78 inches, it's another tool on your belt to be able to overcome an objection for that customer. Now, when we talk about the Moride Step Above Steps, so this is an awesome feature for a couple different reasons. The first one is that it's a solid step and it maintains the ability to hold the weight that you're gonna see on those customers, which is gonna be 500 pounds. So if you have larger customers, this is gonna be something that you'll wanna talk about. Not to mention the fact that it is a solid step, it does touch the ground, and it does carry that weight and distribute that weight a lot easier than some of the steps that don't touch the ground and wanna flex over time, and it just creates a perception that there's something wrong with it. Uh, another benefit is that because it, off, it runs off of this strut system here, it creates a system to where now you can pull this step up and down with ease, and as you can see, it'll stop right here. Now, if you were to compare this to some of the other solid steps that are extremely heavy, the problem is, is when you go to pull this step out, if it gets away from you, now it could fall on you, it could cause an injury. The other problem is with those heavy steps, now when you close the door, they're shaking, and what we've noticed in the industry is you'll get bent door frames here or the latch inside there will want to goober up and it won't hold up through the rigors of the road so what we've seen and what we've heard in the field is that there have been customers that have went to open up their coach and the steps want to fall out which can cause a huge huge problem uh, and one of the other ways that we can pitch it to customers is look folks if you're driving up and down the road and Susie wants to go to the bathroom and you've got another 40 50 miles before you get to your rest stop you can pull over on the side of the road, you can open up the door, Susie can go in and use the bathroom with ease. The fear is with some of those other coaches is if little Susie goes in and pulls this step and this step falls down on her, your camping trip is over. So one of the things that we like to say is, look folks, Raptor saves lives. And this is one of those ways that Raptors will save a lot. So a really nice feature. And again, you can see as you pull it down, it'll stay in place, helping those customers that maybe have a bad range of motion or are elderly, or you just get those customers that have kids that wanna help um, set up and tear down. This is a fun feature, it's a safe feature, and it's an awesome standard feature on Raptor. As we pan along the side of this coach, uh, I do wanna stop and point out the stereo system that we use on the Raptors. So we will use a JBL speaker, uh, which is just more of a name brand system in the market versus just your traditional marine grade treated speakers. So having a JBL speaker is gonna give a look, it's gonna give a name, and then the quality is phenomenal. So it's a nice little feature to talk about. Obviously it's a, it's a focal point feature, but again, as you're walking and you're pitching this product to your customers, it's always nice to be able to have something at every point of the coach to be able to point out and say, look folks, this is what you're getting versus the one over there that just is a marine grade treated speaker. So let's pan across here and let's start to talk about tires, axles, and brakes. So tires is always a point of contention with a retail customer. A lot of times customers don't want to talk about tires that have been built in China or things of that nature. And so our tires are gonna be a Saloon tire, which is the highest rated manufactured tire that people are using on a standard feature. So with this, it's gonna be a G-rated tire, 14 ply, and it's gonna be rated for 4,080 pounds per tire. So now again, on a triple axle, you've got over 24,000 pounds of weight that you can put on the tire. You couple that with 7,000 pound axles, which is gonna give you a total of 21,000 pounds of axle weight that you can put on this on a coach that comes in at a 19,000 pound GBWR. So again, the thing that we like to talk about is, look folks, when you buy this, you know how much the trailer weighs. For the most part, you know what your gear weighs, you know what your water weights are gonna be. But ultimately, when you load this thing up, you don't have a scale to put it on. So we want to be able to cut any kind of ignorance out of customers not knowing and being able to know that we have stepped it well up from what this is going to be on your GVWR and being able to have that 24,000 pounds of weight on the tires, 21,000 pound weight on the axles. So we're doing it over and above to cut down a customer error. Another thing that's always good to remember is on the actual tire, you'll have everything that you'll need to know. So as you can see over here, you're gonna have um, the G rating, 
and then you'll also have the weight rating and then your PSI rating that you want to be able to use on there. And then these are going to be 16 inch rims with 12 volt electric drum brakes. And yes, you will have a drum brake on every single tire. So you're going to have six on this triple axle. A new feature that we introduced this year on our Raptors is the Morite CRE 3000 suspension system. So it's the same rubberized suspension as that Lippert Equiflex, but with this CRE, we've taken it a step further and added the wet bolts. So if you can get up under here and see, you can see within here, you've got your rubberized suspension, which is gonna give you the ability to flex as this is going up and down the road, not only up and down, but back and forth. But we've now incorporated these wet bolts, which now are gonna be Zerk greased with a bronze bushing. And then the actual shackle is gonna be twice as thick as the other systems on the market. So they were using that eighth of an inch thick shackle. We're now using a quarter inch shackle, so, or quarter inch shackle. So now you're getting a thicker shackle. You're getting a greased bolt versus a metal on metal bolt, which over time gets hot and then shears. And now you're actually using a bronze bushing versus a plastic bushing. So overall, you're getting way more features um, on a Moride CRE 3000 than on that Lipper Equiflex suspension system. So those are some things that obviously we want to be able to talk about and educate the customers on so that they know exactly what they're getting into. Now, as we pan around this side, um, the Raptors on the back end will have that uh, aluminum step going into the garage. If they want that solid step for more ride there, it can be installed on here because we do use the same size doors on every coach. However, we don't do it standard because we don't want that step to flip up into the garage and eliminate space for their toys. However, if they do want to add it, it is something they can add on after the fact. So now as we come around to the back of the coach, talk about the ramp door, the patio setup, and things like this. There's a couple things that I want to point out that are going to be key for you guys when you're pitching to that retail customer, okay? The first one is, is we use the Moride Zero Gravity Ramp Door. So similar to that step, when you go to pull this down, it will function the same as that solid step in the way that you can lift this up and down with just your fingers. It's a super light door. It's gonna work off this cable system here and it actually has an electric locking mechanism. So when they're hooked up to 12 volt, they can stick their key in, the door will unlock, it'll kick open and they can pull it down. Don't worry though, because if you're not hooked up to 12 volt, you'll have that yellow pull cord there where you can pull it down, it'll unlock it and then it'll put it down. But again, again, because of the safety features, the benefit to this is that if you were bringing this door down and let's say for instance, you had to walk away from your coach or maybe one of the kids runs around the corner, the dog's down by your feet. Now all of a sudden you can let this door go and then you can go handle your business, come back and as you can see, the door won't actually fall on you. With some of the models out there that have that spring assist ramp door, A, it's a heavier door and B, you have to walk it down. So as you're walking down, if that door were to fall on you again, opportunity for injury, which is where we wanna cut down and then again, at this price point, we want to be able to offer something that is going to be better for that customer. So again, you can see it comes down nice and easy. And then this system here uh, that we use at Keystone, all of our ramp doors are going to be rated for 3,000 pounds when it's in the ramp mode, and then 1,500 when it's in the patio setup. Now, a lot of people will ask, what are these little legs here for? So these legs, So it has a purpose for reinforcement as this is down in the patio mode. And then because the system that we use creates the steps onto the patio off the side, you've got to remove your cable so that you can walk in. And now that step is gonna reinforce it when that cable is now disconnected from the ramp door. But don't worry, the ramp door will still be rated for 1500 pounds whether you take the cables off or not. Now, another feature that is gonna separate us from every other toy in the industry is our backup camera. The backup camera is a standard feature on every Raptor toy hauler. Every other toy hauler in the industry will offer it as a prep. So it's plug and play, and then the customer has to add that on. 
Well, depending on the dealership, that's something that could cost 500 or more dollars. So hey folks, if you're looking at that brand over there, Raptor's got a $500 instant advantage with having the backup camera as a standard feature. Now the awning will come with the patio setup as that option. And the patio setup is something that you're gonna see on most traditional stock inventory pieces. So if you see the awning, then you know that the unit has the patio system. Now, as we scroll around to this side, all Raptors will come equipped with the ladder. The ladder is rated for 300 pounds. Uh, and then this is gonna give the customer access to the roof to be able to handle all of their warranty items. So checking their seals, making sure that their skylights aren't cracked, making sure that their seams aren't coming apart, their ACs are sealed properly. This ladder is gonna allow them to do that, so it's not an option. But on top of that, all of the roofs are gonna be fully walkable. The slide boxes will be fully walkable and we will use five inch wood trusses. So five inches in the center tapers down to two and three quarter. And then there will be 16 inches on center. And then the roof will have three eighths plywood over the top of the roof trusses so that you can get that full walkability capacity. Another thing to talk about when we're talking about roof is that roof line edge there. As you can see, that actually sits down about four inches. It doesn't just butt up the sidewall to the roof line like you would see in some of our competitors' products. And what we do there is we actually take a piece of rolled aluminum and we run it down the entire length of the coach. That way, when we wrap the Alpha Flex roofing down, we can come down about four inches and run that gutter line there, eliminating the opportunity for a seam to come apart because water intrusion is gonna be the number one thing that'll kill your RV. So by being able to wrap that down, we've eliminated the opportunity for water to defy gravity and go up into the coach. Now, if you're looking at that, the one thing that you'll want to remember is on some of the competitors' products, you'll see where the two come together, and then you can actually see where our roof line um, comes down further. That's going to be a benefit that you'll want to pitch to those retail customers. And then as we're talking about your power systems, all Raptors are going to come 50 amp equipped. And then because it's a toy hauler, you've got your fuel station. So you have a fuel station on every Raptor. It is an unleaded gasoline fuel system. And you'll have two 30 gallon gasoline tanks. And one will be an auxiliary tank that will run off of your fuel pump. And then you can take that and pump that into your toy or your motorcycle, your side-by-side, -side, or anything like that. Then the second tank will specifically run to the generator. So again, you've got 30 or two 30 gallon gasoline tanks. Now, let's say for instance, you don't have a toy and you're gonna go off the grid and you wanna be able to use that capacity and fuel for your generator. You could essentially have 60 gallons of fuel for your generator. Now, the Cummins 5500 uh, watt Onan generator will burn somewhere between three quarters to one gallon of gas per hour on a full load. So if they want to be able to use one tank for that, they essentially have 30 hours of generator when they go on a camping trip. And again, if they've got a single motorcycle and they're not gonna use all of that gas, then they can, again, put that towards uh, their generator if they wanted to be able to do that. Now, as we scroll around past through here, uh, these are a lot of things we've already talked about, but the slides here is where we can now talk about our cable slide system and why we use the cable slides. So Raptor uses the cable slides for a couple reasons. The main one is warranty. So our slides and our slide boxes are gonna be the least warrantied item at Keystone. Um, that's a benefit to you because obviously with this being separated from the coach, again, you have the, the point for water intrusion. The cable slide though, is better than using, uh, again, a geared system, a worm geared system, or the, the, other, the rack and pinion system. So the rack and pinion system is gonna be used for a heavier slide, and this is gonna be used for maybe a lighter slide. But again, the reason we use this is because the amount of error that it takes to go on something like this is less than that worm geared system. So if you're out on the lot and you're looking at that worm geared system, one way to notice how this is better, if you can see those metal shavings on the ground, which does happen. Because again, it's a lot more difficult to fasten four rails, two on each side, 
and line up those measurements, the room for error is about an eighth of an inch. So now if, if the guy that's installing this side on a worm gear makes a little mistake, it's gonna make the rest of the room off and the slide's not gonna work uh, together. It's not gonna come in and out. So with this cable system, what we've been able to see is that the slides will go in and out smoother. And then if we take the technology that we put into the true point five point technology in our slide boxes, what we've then been able to achieve is by reinforcing that roof, we're able to get a true fit when it's coming in and out. So you'll notice when you're on the lot and you're hooked up and you're running the slide out, if the slide's wanting to shake when it's going out or as it's almost getting in and it wants to shake a little bit more, you're starting to notice that it might be off center somewhere, which is what's making it shake. So by doing this cable system, we're able to pull all of those in smoothly and run them out smoothly, which again is gonna help extend the life of the camper for that customer. Here, you're gonna have your furnace exhaust, and then a new feature that we're offering in our Raptors is a Gerard system on-demand water heater. So this is a 42,000 BTU output water heater that is gonna give you continuous hot water. It is specifically engineered for recreational vehicles, and it's also rated for winter use. So you don't have to worry about this water heater freezing up. But the main benefit is now, folks, you can take a shower for 30 minutes or more. Whereas if you're on a 12 gallon water heater, or 10 gallon water heater, now you're having to subject yourself to faster showers, which again, at this price point and with this brand, we want to be able to offer something to that customer that the inside is going to be just as good as the outside. The practical use is a big benefit to that customer. And who doesn't want to take a 30 minute shower? I know I do. Coming here, you've got the other side of your pass-through storage and then your convenience center. So in the convenience center, you're gonna have the ability to have hot and cold water. You've got your sprayer faucet that'll hook up to that. And then you have the ability to do your winterization system, your city fill, your tank flush. You've got your water heater drain uh, levers here. And then you're also gonna have your pull valves for your upper bed deck and they're gonna be inside the convenience center, making it a lot easier to pull and do those dumps. But the one thing I do wanna point out is within here, you've got a diagram now that's gonna be able to educate the customer on how they want to be able to do their winterization system, their tank fills, their flushing, or any of those things. So that's gonna be a huge benefit to the retail customer because again, in this day and age where we're seeing a boom and a spike in new customers and customers that have never been RVing before, this is a thing that we can offer to the customer to where now they can be an expert in this without ever going camping before. And so it's a lot easier in the middle of the night when you're trying to figure something out and you've got your flashlight or you're turning your light on in here or something like that. Now you have the ability to know and understand how your coach is working, which is a huge benefit. Another thing that we offer, which is gonna be a Keystone exclusive feature is the Key TV. And so the Key TV is essentially, it's a single multi-source signal controller, okay? Big words, ultimately what it does is it simplifies the television process. So within here, behind this, this signal controller here, you're gonna have coaxes that again, are color coded and labeled that are gonna go back to each of the TVs the antenna and the radio that will allow that customer to do satellite cable and antenna all from one coax cable which eliminates 50 percent of the coax that we were putting into these before and it's also allowed us to eliminate all the splitters all the connections and all of that to give you a better view so your your picture your quality is going to be better because it's going through one line we cut down on excess and we eliminated a system in uh, the antenna button that then controls when or not you turn that cable or satellite on, which is always difficult to find. And with these customers now not knowing when to turn that switch on or where it's at, this is gonna be a huge benefit. So now coming over here, we've got, this is gonna be your battery compartment as well as the controls for the six point auto level. So as you can see, we get three spots here for the battery connections, which allows those customers to bring extras or spares with them. And then also you have your controls there 
for the six point auto level. All right, now that's it for the outside guys. Let's go take a look on the inside. All right guys, so now we're in the garage of this 413. And in the garage is where we separate ourselves from every other toy hauler in the industry for a couple different reasons. So before we dig into that, I wanna show how this patio system sets up and how easy it is. So the door is obviously down. You undo this here, you'll swing this part out and then you'll lift this lever up. That'll loosen that. And then at this point, it just slides in the place. Swing the other edge out. And as you can see, in less than a minute, you've got your patio system set up and ready to go. And so that's gonna be an awesome feature from us and it makes it a lot easier to where now this space is usable in a patio system. And don't forget, on a toy hauler, it's the only type of trailer that's gonna give you a patio like this, a balcony, a view if you're out somewhere in the scenery or if you're out on a beach. Lots of customers like to back this thing up out on the water, and then when they wake up every morning, they can come out here and do all the things that they wanna do in the morning. So you've got your three season patio doors here, which will come closed. We use the vinyl rack versus the glass for obvious reasons, we don't want it to break. But another thing that we do that nobody else does is we use a dovetail storage. So this dovetail storage stretches the entire width of the trailer and it allows you to be able to open this up and store whatever you want. So let's say you've got some roadside gear, some straps, some flashes, some cones and things like that that you want to be able to take with you. Now you have a place for those. Let's say you want to store some oil or extra chains, things like that for your gears on a motorcycle or a four wheel or side by side. You can store all that stuff in there in containers or stuff like that so that it goes through. Another nice thing is it does have weep holes in it so that if it does collect water, it'll just drain out. Now, for the bread and butter. This is your home run pitch every single time when you're talking about a Raptor toy hauler. Okay, so two things that we do that are gonna be unlike anybody else in the industry. The first thing that we do is we use what's called Keystone Dynaspan. That is gonna be a marine grade treated wood that we'll use in our floors that's rated for 25 years. The other thing that we do is it's all in one piece. So when you're in the garage, we're using a one piece sheet for that floor. So what we don't use is we don't use four by eight sheets. We don't use tongue and groove. We don't use side by side sheets and then screw them down. By using one sheet, we're now able to distribute the weight evenly. We're able to have a 3000 pound max capacity in our floor and that's going to separate us from the industry. So you're not going to have seams that are going to separate over time. You don't have to worry about things like that. And that's a huge benefit when the customers are walking through this or you're trying to pitch that quality and long-term use on the coach. The other one, and it's my favorite thing to talk about on Raptor guys, it is our frame welded tie downs. So every one of these welded tie downs is gonna be welded directly to the frame and each one is rated for 5,000 pounds. Okay, and there's a difference between what we do and what the rest of the industry does. And it's a key point when you're talking to that retail customer. So as you're qualifying with that customer on what they're taking with them as they go camping, what toys they use, is it a Harley, is it a side-by-side, -side, is it a trike, is it dirt bikes, is it a four-wheeler? As you're understanding what that customer's taking with you, this is where you separate yourself from the industry. And how we do that is it's welded directly to the frame. We've actually taken a frame, we've strapped a side-by-side -side down, and we've flipped the frame over, and this thing doesn't fall. So we want our customers to know that when they strap it down, and they hit bumps, or they hit the brakes, their toy's not gonna shift, it's not gonna slide forward and hit the wall, it's not gonna go backwards and damage the rear wall, it's not gonna fall into the sidewall and puncture it, handlebars aren't gonna fall over, and the way that our competition does it, is there's a couple different ways. Um, they will use what's called a D-ring and they'll fasten it to the floor one of those three ways. 
the first way is they'll just screw it to the wood. So they'll screw it to the wood and then that's it. Another way that they do it is they'll actually use a seal plate on the bottom of the wood that the bolt will go through and then that's going to give that added protection. Or what they'll do is between the cross members, in between the I-beam, they'll use a bolt or a screw that'll go through the wood and then into that cross member. The problem is, is now those bolts and screws are holding the weight of that D-ring. Now the D-rings that come in our price point are usually at about 5,000 pounds, but some will be anywhere between 1,000, 1,500, 2,500, all the way up to 5,000 pounds. And the problem is, is that weight rating on the D-ring only applies the ring to the housing. So it's gonna take that amount of weight, give it 5,000 pounds to pull the ring from the housing. It has nothing to do, again, with how they fasten it to the floor. So if they are screwing it to the wood, we know over time that's gonna give out. If they're doing it on a seal plate, or they're running it through the outriggers, over time, those bolts are gonna give out and they're gonna to wanna to shear. And I can assure you that those bolts and screws are not rated for 5,000 pounds. And let's not remember that per RVDA code, you cannot enclose the entire garage in the underbelly because of your fuel station. So now, those bolts and screws are exposed to the elements on the underside. And you can show that to a customer just by walking them out to a unit and having them look up underneath. So now that coach that is just screwed through the floor or screwed through the seal plate is now exposed to the elements, can over time rust. That's where you run into those issues of motorcycles, the D-ring pulling out of the floor and then failing, motorcycles falling over and things like that. So this is an area where I love to spend a good amount of time going over this because it's extremely important. Now, as some of the nicer just features inside the coaches is we use these snap-on blinds, which are gonna give you obviously the blackout capability, but also are gonna give you the ease of being able to fit things in here that are maybe a little bit wider because you don't have valances and you don't have blinds. So it's just a small, cute little thing. You've got your butt, bed bunks that will run off of that electric motor that are gonna be rated uh, for about 350 pounds. And then each one of these can actually, as you can see, can fall down to the side so that if you get a customer that maybe has a lifted golf cart or a larger side-by-side, -side, it can actually fit through that eight inch opening on the ramp door. And then you can also open these to allow this door to open up all the way. So if you get that customer that's like, well, I don't think that my toy will fit through here. Remember, the door opening is eight foot. And so if they have something a little bit taller, they can open up these doors to get in. They can fold the bunk beds down and then that will allow them to pull all the way in. Uh, another feature is every Raptor is gonna have the TV in the garage, which will actually swing down so that when you put your bunk beds into the seat portion, now you have visibility of the TV. You've got the angle cabinets there to be able to fit any of your gear or things like that in there. And then you're gonna have all the controls right here for them to be able to function lighting and the bunk beds. When we come into this main part of the coach, uh, you're gonna see here that you've got the vapor door, which will allow you to eliminate any of the, the fumes that may come from inside the coach. And then obviously you've got access to the half bath and then you've got your washer dryer prep there that'll come equipped on every one of okay the so now we're in the living room kitchen of the 413 so some of the things we want to talk about is in this part of the slide we've got the pull out pantry so this is going to allow you to store the canned goods boxed cereals boxed foods and things like that that you can pull in and out on the slide function we also have now added the residential refrigerator so in addition to our RV refrigerator, we're now able to encompass every style of camper, which is a big deal for us. Over on this side, you've got access to your half bath, which now you can access it from the living room and or the garage if you have guests that you don't want using your main bedroom or bathroom. Up above, you're gonna have storage here that doesn't intrude on your bed loft up top. 
So now, as you can see, it's deep and it's large to be able to fit some of those things that you take with you that maybe you don't use on a regular basis. So now this is gonna give you additional storage within the kitchen storage here, which as you can see, you've got pull-out drawers, you've got storage underneath the sink, as well as only your microwave and cabinet. And one thing that I do like to point out is that we use the soft close cabinet doors. This is a feature that you'll find on every floor plan, in every room, on every cabinet door. We don't cut the corners anywhere when it comes to this. You'll also have your 30 inch convection microwave, stainless steel. You'll also have the slate backsplash over the top of your solid surface countertops. Then you've got your Furion cooktop and oven that'll also have the pullout tray for any of your bigger pots and pans. Now, a cool feature that you can see is the LED lighting in our countertops. So this is something that we do on every floor plan that is gonna give us just that little bit of a nicer, cooler touch than what you're gonna see in the market right now. And then we've went ahead and we've done the residential sprayer faucet, stainless steel single bowl sink, and then your cover here that is gonna give you multiple purposes. So again, you can use this as a drip tray, you can use this as storage to where you can put plates and utensils inside here. Uh, but again, just the ability to do multifunctional things. I've even talked to customers that have said they've used this as a cutting board. So again, anything that a customer can use it for that can make some practical applications to it, we want to be able to offer that in there. So now as we swing in here into the living room, you'll notice that you've got the big slide boxes, which are going to give you the head height and the ability to open up and make this L-shaped living room look extremely residential. You've got Thomas Payne furniture that's going to give you heat, light, and LED. You also have pull-down shades on every window. So you're going to have that on all of the windows. Additionally, within your slide boxes, you've got USB ports for any of your devices that you want to charge on something. So again, making it easy for those customers that want to be able to go camping and not necessarily leave the luxury of home. Now, as before we pan up into this portion here, I do want to highlight the 50 inch TV. You've got your stereo system here, 5000 BTU fireplace, which is going to allow you to run solely off of electric and it will heat up this room very, very quickly. Then you'll have your central vac system here which is going to come on every single raptor and then another feature i want to talk about is our keystone exclusive omni chill triple ac package that ac package is going to allow the customer to be able to run all three acs on a 50 amp service not only the acs but also the compressors and the fans that is going to be a system that is unlike anything in the system right now now the other cool thing is that at full capacity, these ACs are going to be equivalent to a 46,200 BTU output, which is going to be way more than what you're going to see on the AC systems that run 315K ACs that are going to be at 45. However, they're going to be on an energy management system, so they're only able to run two at a time. You can now run all three at the exact same time with power to spare because they're high efficiency, they're low amp draw, each AC only pulls 11 amps, which allows you to have more power to do other things while you're camping. In addition to that, I do want to talk about our Tuflock thermoplastic coupler that is going to join the AC ducts to the actual AC unit. This system here is a system that we designed in our engineering lab on complex. This is going to be something that is completely different than what everybody else is doing in the industry, simply because most people are gonna be taking those ducts and they're just taping them with foil tape. The problem is, is over time, when you're in conditions of hot and cold, the stickiness comes apart. That's where you get those air leaks. With this and its crush resistant design, you're now able to maximize that airflow and decrease the amount of chilled air leaks that you get into the attic. So not only are you running three ACs, on a 50 amp service, unlike anybody else, but you know how a system that is gonna maximize the airflow and not leak into the attic, 
therefore keeping you cooler on those hot camping weekends and extending the opportunity for you to be able to camp in maybe some temperatures and some seasons that you're not used to if you're in some of those hot weather states. That's gonna be huge. Now, as we go up into the hallway, this sensor here you'll have in every room which is gonna allow the ACs to know what the temperature is. You can set each one of those ACs to a different temperature via the ASA in-command system. Now, this entire system, you can also Bluetooth to your smartphone by downloading an app. Now, one thing I do want to talk about with this ASA system that is different from everyone else is ASA only does electronics. They don't dabble in different areas of the market, enabling them to be extremely specific and thoughtful in how they do things. So they have their own people handling everything versus maybe a system that you would find on Lipper. And what I've found from talking with customers and being on the forums is that you don't have to download or update the app on this system where you would have to do that with the link system. The other thing is ASA is so good at what they do, they now have an exclusive partnership with GMC that allows customers with a 2020 GM product to be able to control the in command from their infotainment center on the truck. Again, revolutionary and is the reason why we like to partner with vendors like ASA. Another cool feature is all of our systems are gonna be equipped for solar prep on the roof. So you can now add a solar panel on the roof and get trickle charge down to your batteries. A nice feature if you're gonna be out boondocking. This system is going to be the Gerard products controller for the water heater. So you can turn this on, set the shower temperature to whatever you want, and then take that shower. And again, as long as you're hooked up to water, you can take a continuous hot shower. Another cool feature, and so again, I know I've been talking about cool features, but this one is really gonna set the stage for separation from any other toy hauler in the industry. Every unit is now wired with 4G LTE capability. So what this does is you can now take your Air 360 to a whole different level of connectivity. You get the router, hook it up to this, then you go in to your in-command system, you go into settings. This is now set up and equipped with Wi-Fi. So you buy the router, you set up your Raptor as if it has Wi-Fi, you go into here, you can scan the system, find your Wi-Fi, and then guess what? You can be miles and miles and miles away. As long as your captor or your Raptor is hooked up to power, you can then from your smartphone, run your slides out. You can turn your generator on. You could turn your ACs on at noon on a Friday, leave work at two early, be out at the campsite, and you don't have to worry about your unit being hot when you get there. That is something that no one else is gonna be able to offer except for a Keystone Raptor. Now, let's go up into the bathroom here. And as we get into this bathroom, there's a couple things that, again, these should be standard features. These should be the things that you're finding when you're walking into a coach, like a full one-piece fiberglass shower surround. It's not plastic. It's not a two-piece. It's not a three-piece. It's a single piece, so you don't have any kind of water intrusion. Another thing that we add is you got the bench there for the ladies. They wanna be able to shave their legs, they wanna be able to sit, or if you wanna be able to sit, you can sit down in here, and maybe you can take one of your children, you can spray your kids off if they're nasty, if you've got a baby or something like that, where you don't have to worry about a tub that you gotta step in and out and over and up. Another feature is you've got this fixture here. We use the black, we use the black fixture just because it gives a better pop and a feel in the look that we're going for, but also, it's metal, it's not plastic, it's not cheap, it's not chintzy. And you incorporate that with your glass shower doors, it gives a more residential feel when you're inside this. The skylight's gonna give you some added light and height room. And then when you go in here, you've got the stainless steel sink, you've got storage in your medicine cabinet here, you've got a GFC outlet there, you've got three drawers here and storage underneath the sink. Then you've got a porcelain foot flush toilet with storage over the top and a linen closet. So this is one thing that's usually missing in these coaches is the ability to store towels and toiletries. Well, now we've been able 
to engineer this bathroom and configure it in a way where we can now give this to a retail customer. Now, as we go into the bedroom, you'll notice you've got the access into the bathroom from the bedroom, which again now allows those customers when they wake up in the middle of the night, they don't have to walk into the hall, around the door, into the bathroom. And then we just went and did this farm style sliding door here, which just gives it a nicer, better look while still being able to access. And then behind me, you've got your wardrobe storage, which is going to give you the perfect setup for his and hers, depending on the way that you guys can. So the big one here with the pole there, the hanger, you've got the mirror there to be able to make sure that you look good. And then you've got the two big drawer or two big doors along with three pullout drawers to be able to store all of your clothing and stuff like that that you want to do. You've got a massive amount of storage under the bed. You've got a table that'll come with every unit and that goes all the way back to the front wall. So now if you've got storage bins, clothes, boots, things like that, safes that you want to be able to take with you, you have access to those from there. Now on your nightstands, we've incorporated the new wireless phone chargers. These will work with any type of phone, whether it's an Android or an Apple, you've got storage up above and on each side, as well as a shelf here or anything else that you would maybe want to put up there. And then you've got storage on this side here. Now, if you do want a queen bed, queen bed is standard, king is the option. So if you do go with a queen, you'll get the nightstand on both sides. And again, you've got power on both sides which allows that customer to be able to use a CPAP, charge something else maybe that they don't want to use for this, store books, drinks, magazines, glasses, and things like that. Um, up in the top, you'll have the new Blade System row tiers. This will give 20% more airflow into the coach. So if that customer doesn't want the air to blow directly on them, they can close the vent on the AC, they can turn this in a direction that they want, because again, it is giving you the ability to rotate it and still be able to maximize that airflow coming in. So maybe they don't want to have that air blowing directly on them. Now they can get it to function from there. You'll always have the TV in the bedroom because again, on the Raptor, the TV is gonna be a standard equipment. And then you'll have that window off onto the campsite, which is just gonna be an added benefit. So guys, look, that gives an end to this walkthrough on this Raptor 413. I'm Ben Swathwood, Keystone District Sales Manager. If you guys have any questions, please visit our website, keystonerv.com, or visit your local dealer. We'll see you.